Hey guys, in this video we're going to cover installing the Cakewalk by BandLab SI Studio Instrument VST plugins. This is a really simple process, so this will be a quick video, but I'm doing it since some people were having issues getting them installed with Cakewalk. We'll also cover afterwards how you can use the Studio Instruments plugins in another program, like Reaper, if you prefer to do that instead. To get started, the first thing we need to do is open the BandLab Assistant. This is the program we use to install Cakewalk. With that opened, log into your account that you use for BandLab. Then use the top menu to go to Apps. From the App menu, we'll see Cakewalk as one of our programs. Click the drop down on Cakewalk and select Install Add-ons. You'll get a pop-up that allows you to select the Studio Instrument Suite. Check that off and click the Install button in the bottom right corner. Now the program will install. You'll likely get a pop-up while it's doing that asking if you want to allow the program to make changes to your computer. Select Yes and the program will finish installing. Installing the Studio Instrument Suite can take a bit of time since the instruments do take up a lot of space and need to be downloaded. Now we can close the BandLab Assistant and open up Cakewalk. Start a new empty project and let's cover how to add an instrument again just to make sure it's clear. Right click on the blank track area and insert a new instrument track. Use the instrument dropdown at the top of the pop-up to select the new Studio Instruments plugin. If they don't show up under the quick access, they will show up under the bass, drums, piano, and string menus below. Then select it and create a new MIDI instrument track. Now let's get into a little troubleshooting. In the case the Studio Instruments suite is installed, but not detected by Cakewalk, we can go into the settings and manually add that folder to our VST plugin scan path. Open the Edit menu at the top and select Preferences, then scroll down to VST Settings under File. We need to make sure the C Program Files Cakewalk VST Plugins path is added since this is where our Studio Instruments plugins are installed. When that's done, press the Scan button to check for new plugins again. This should make the Studio Instruments plugins accessible from Cakewalk. The last thing to cover is how to install the Studio Instruments plugins for other digital audio workstations. In my case, I use Reaper a lot, so I'll install them in that program. This will vary based on the program, but the bottom line is we need to tell the software to check the Cakewalk Plugins folder as a scan path for the VST plugins, and we'll be able to use the instruments in that software. Thanks for checking out this video on installing the Cakewalk by BandLab Studio Instrument Suite plugins. I hope this video helped clarify some of the problems people were having getting the SI plugins to work. If this video helped you out, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and check out our social media links in the video description down below to see all our new content.